Greece. Just the name of the country evokes a long and illustrious history of a maritime civilization. I traveled to the port city of Piraeus, close to Athens, in search of echoes of the country's ancient past. Also, I was intrigued by a fascinating new chapter of the country's biggest port, in collaboration with China, another ancient civilization half a globe away. Let's take a trip along the port's over 20 kilometers long of coastline. And I discovered that what goes on here involves much more than just moving containers. But let's start with some history. These are remnants of the city walls that once guarded the port in ancient times. And there's also a statue replica of either Zeus or Poseidon, depending on whether he holds a thunderbolt or trident. During the classical period, Piraeus was the busiest district of Athens and its biggest industrial zone. The exact spot of this museum used to be a factory for warships in the 4th century BC. These are the triremes that we see in movies, documentaries, and video games. And this metal part is here so that you can ram into enemy ships and deal substantial damage. Ramming speed! This is the Hellenic Maritime Museum in Piraeus, where you can see how Greek ships evolved through the ages. It's based on centuries of maritime tradition. Greece is an oceanic country. Its beauty is sculpted by the artist known as the sea. A short distance from the museum, the port of Piraeus, now managed by a Chinese company. How did this collaboration happen between two equally ancient civilizations? In 2009, Chinese shipping giant Costco signed a contract to operate two piers here. But it was also in that year that the Greek debt crisis exploded. Overseas now to Greece, a country on the brink of collapse. Things weren't looking good at the port. The terminals were in disrepair. Workers went on strikes against government austerity measures. Paralyzing the country's largest port in Piraeus near Athens. The port even came close to bankruptcy. Nevertheless, Costco, which became the port's major shareholder by 2016, had a goal of turning the business around. Expectations were high. The results have been remarkable, as seen in the port's global ranking. From 95th place prior to 2009 to an uh, impressive 38th place today. How has this been achieved? To gain a better insight into this success story, I spoke with a Greek company official who told me that the container port was just one part of a larger whole. And I wanted to explore the mall. At the eastern end of Port Piraeus is the cruise terminal, located close to major tourist destinations in the Aegean. It is currently going through an expansion. We can add three new berthing places for the cruise vessel. Piraeus port will be the leading port in cruise sector in the whole Mediterranean Sea. I decided that looking at a scale model was not enough. Let's start from here and take a trip along the port's over 20 kilometers long of coastline. Our next stop was the passenger terminal. These cars are lining up to get on a ferry. The company said this is the busiest passenger port in Europe, for good reasons. The passenger port is very big because Greek islands are numerous. We don't have other way to access them. We continued westward along the coast. With rails connecting Central Europe, Piraeus is also an important terminal for cars. Midway along the coastline is the port's main business, where Costco has invested millions of US dollars over the years to upgrade. The secret to Piraeus' big comeback. So here we are. This is one of the top container ports in the world and the biggest transshipment center in the Eastern Mediterranean, with infrastructures capable of serving the largest container ships 
in the world. So what's behind its recent success? I got a two-part answer. The real milestone for the container business started after 2010, when Costco Shipping undertook the management. The new pair, number three, was constructed and the whole electromechanical equipment was upgraded. Also, Costco Shipping, apart from operator, is also a shipping line and brings a lot of cargo here to Piraeus. The port announced record high revenues and profitability in 2022. What they're especially proud of is that all of this was achieved without any major layoffs or wage cuts. Company give us bonuses to buy things in the supermarkets or a bonus for the wedding or etc. As you can see, 2.7 million per year that is related with the benefits provided to the staff, health insurance program, interest-free loans, vouchers, allowances for kid and garden for the children of the employees. Almost 45% of the people who work in the company are coming from these communities, communities and municipalities which are not very high developed. And this is a very good breath, we say, to the local community. The final stop of our journey is a factory for ship repairs. Bathed in the warm glow of the sunset, I couldn't help but wonder if a similar scene took place at this very spot in the 4th century BC. It's enough to inspire a sense of awe. Apart from indicators, apart from figures and throughput, what is important to say is that the presence of Costco in Piraeus functions also as a bridge between the two countries, between the two ancient civilizations and culture in the world. The pride the people here hold for Piraeus' historical legacy and the port's significance to the local community are deserving of respect. It's a huge responsibility, one now shared by Chinese partners. Before us leaving, Mr. Zanosidis showed me videos of his sons practicing Chinese Kung Fu. They are practicing many years Mei Hua Chuan. <laughs> and one of his dreams is to visit China in order to have training by a Chinese Kung Fu Laoshi. Wow. <laughs> he, he knows how to count in Chinese until 10 because they use this in uh, Kung Fu Academy. And sometimes he gives me some orders. He tells me, for example, you Bei, uh, to be ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I later met up with a local friend who took us to experience the bustling markets and historical sites in Athens, packed with tourists. Greece is coming out of its decade-long debt quagmire. Its economy grew by 5.9% in 2022, way higher than the EU. Both inflation and unemployment are projected to go down. All very encouraging signs that it would be smoother sailing for Greece in the years to come. In the next episode... I visit a railway that served as the foundation of Sino-African relations since the establishment of the People's Republic of China. Yeah.